Hello and welcome to Fiasco First Friday here on Roll20. I'm your host and Fiasco Chaos Coordinator, Jen Vaughn. My pronouns are she, they. Tonight we bring you the cultish world of Rainbow Mountain, created by Fiasco game designer himself, Jason Morningstar, and published by Bully <laughs> Pulpit Games. We will get right into tonight's fiasco after a word from our sponsors. As you may know, Roll20 is raising money all year long for Code 2040, an organization dedicated to addressing and removing the systematic barriers in the tech industry for Black and Latinx technologists. Check out their Tiltify campaign at Roll20.com. Now back to the game. As you may know, or if this is your first time, Welcome to the show. This is our first show of 2022. Sounds like a fake year. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah. does. Yeah. Uh, we like to show you how you can sit down at your dinner table, uh, your, you know, um, your papa son, wherever you are, or at a bunch of different computers and virtually play fiasco with your friends. So I have gathered some of the best of the best uh, in the world, period, in the galaxy, sorry. Um, and <laughs> we will be playing together. Um, some people have never played, and so I will be explaining the rules throughout. It's quite a fun game, and I, I think you'll have a great time. In Fiasco, we have a couple of acts. We'll be playing scenes in these acts as these characters we create. It's sort of a role-playing game that's all role-playing. No math. A little bit of math, but I'll be doing the math, so it's not a big deal. So all these players will either get to choose to establish their scene where they describe what is happening, like in the opening shot of a, a movie or a comic, or they can choose to resolve it. They either want a positive or negative outcome for their character. A positive outcome for some characters may be negative for others, and vice versa. And to be fair, the game is called Fiasco, so the coin rarely flips up for characters in the end at all. But now I'd like to introduce these players, these victims, these cult members, and uh, let them tell you a little bit about who they'll be playing tonight. We will start with the person to my, I know how directions work, right or left, uh, but on top, Noir. <laughs> That's me. Hi. <laughs> I'm not panicked. I am playing... I am playing uh, a criminal by the name of Doug Duggerson. Uh, yeah. I am a, I'm a fixer for Michael Tree, and I am also a very worried uh, pragmatist, you know, because crime is a worrying job, and I am around a lot of um, a, a lot of goats. <laughs> but I mean, goats are the worst. <laughs> they actually eat all their evidence, right? So. I'll be, I'll be in that case. They might be good to have around, but the people around the goats, they're a little, they're a little questionable. Mm, interesting, interesting. All right, down in the bottom, a sage. That's me. What's up? Hi, I'm Sage. My pronouns are they, them, and today I will be playing the hopefully charismatic cult leader, <laughs> Michael Tree, who is also a goat wrangler and utopian idealist. Because we really believe that goats can show us the way to not only love ourselves, but to love each other. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> wow, I'm already, I'm, already take, I'm already taken away to a very special place that smells like goat hair all up in my face. So wow. thank you, Sage. I mean, Michael. <laughs> Michael T. Um, yeah, uh, you'll have to think on exactly what Michael Tree looks like while we go speak to Ivan. Okay uh what's it called uh my name is ivan uh just in real life uh <laughs> and i go by uh they them uh in this game i'm gonna be playing a character named amethyst bing uh who is a animal rights activist and uh believes that every animal actually has a human soul within them so any uh wrongdoing to any animals is actually a crime against humanity so please you know check yourself beautiful absolutely Ameth was that amethyst bing Amethyst Bing, yes. Okay, cool. Sorry, I was just writing in the name on the game board so everyone can see. Gotcha. I are you related to Chandler? Just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I get that a lot, really. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, great. Uh, and I am also new to the uh, 
Rainbow Mountain community. And my name will be, boy, I wish Doug Duggerson wasn't taken because it sounds beautiful and fake. Um, I, I am going... <laughs> I am going to be here uh, trying to peddle certain capitalistic tendencies to this utopian cult group, uh, doing my best to get what I need from them. Um, so I am going to be uh, Petra Z, no last name, she won't give it. Uh, and so that is, and their uh, pronouns will be she, her. Let me just add them in real fast before we get going. So oh. I, I slacked on pronouns. I'm a Noir. <laughs> that's me. That's I'm Heave and Doug Duggerson is uh he him. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. And for some reason I didn't give your name capitalized capitalized letters. I'm sorry. I'm trying to fix Let's, that. Right put now. some respect on Doug Duggerson's I name. I know how <laughs> just happened with all the others so i don't know maybe i think it's the keyboard it's actually not me so uh, okay there we go. mr, mr. duggish has been in these streets too long to not be careful <laughs> and by streets you mean country roads uh <laughs> take me home we'll take them home to yeah. the place i'm, I'm sorry <laughs> no this is beautiful okay great uh, and thank you so much to a uh, fawn our producer for showing us this game board okay so as you can see, between each of our pictures, there is a red relationship card between us. So that is, um, we picked them out a little bit ahead of the show because it, sometimes, it, you know, we, we end up role playing for just a little too long. So I uh, want to make sure that we had them ready to go. Uh, so in between, say, Noir and myself, we have a relationship card that shows what our relationship is. Michael Tree's fixer and the one who needs the fixing. And so we, we went through these all together and picked out these relationships. So this will be something that we are playing with. In addition, oh, good, I opened it up a real big, sorry. <laughs> In addition, we also have a couple of needs. Um, so we have two needs that we have added. Uh, one is to get the truth about what goes on in the meditation room. Another one is to rebel, to bring forbidden items into the community. Um, and so those are things that we will fold into our little scenes as we do it. Little, excuse me, amazing, glorious scenes. I did not mean to belittle anyone. Um, we also have a location, uh, the waterfall on the mountain, so that we'll add in. But we need to have one object. Uh, and I'm going to let, uh, Ivan, I'm going to let you pick the object. Or, or you pick it and then tell us why it needs to be the object. How about that? Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, I'm going to say uh, an illegal horde of eagle feathers. Okay. Uh, and uh, this is because each one was plucked from an endangered uh, uh, bald eagle. Um, but they're keeping the eagle alive in the hopes that the feathers grow back. Oh my. <laughs> okay, so sort of like a shearing a goat. I'm sorry, shearing yeah. a sheep type thing, but with a a bald eagle. Okay. Yeah, they're they're they have a severe misunderstanding of eagles, I guess, and I'm yeah. coming to investigate. Beautiful. If there are any um was it or ornithologists uh in chat, <laughs> please let us know if feathers grow back after being plucked. I assume they do, but at a very slow rate. So again, no idea, not going to look it up. That's the romance of uh, not knowing pre-internet age. So without further ado, no. uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I've moved these all around so we can all see them. Uh, who here would like to go first? Who wants to be the star of the very first scene? You can say you do and then let all of us. Let's uh, do it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Michael <laughs> Tree. Yeah. I was like, okay. Uh, okay, Sage, would you like to, okay, well, sorry, eagles actually rip their, sorry, pause, game completely, right, when we start. Someone says, eagles actually rip their own feathers out to grow them back. Oh, okay. Oh, so maybe after they're yeah. too damaged or something or too dirty. Interesting. Thank you. Holy, holy moly. Okay. Yeah. So, but still, that's very painful for the eagle that people did it, yeah. right? It wasn't of its own. Mm, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, Sage, for your first scene in Act One, would you like to establish with a capital E or resolve capital R? I would like to resolve. Okay. Okay. Are you gonna go for a positive or negative? Or you also don't have to really tell us. You can just let's go. Let's go for negative. Negative. Okay, just going <laughs> hard out the gate. All right, Noir, Ivan, myself. This means we get to set the scene. The first scene for uh Sage and Mike as Michael Tree. 
Hmm. I'm wondering I, if I they're... Don't... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, go no, on. you go. Go ahead. Oh, I was just wondering if they're, like, really hyping themselves up, like, in a mirror. Just being like, <laughs> oh, today I'm going to be the best leader, cult leader ever, right now, right now. Yeah. Giving the prep talk. The pep like yeah. I like all that. Oh, God. No, no, you. I was going to say, all I know is that I want that eagle in the scene. I want there to be a ball. <laughs> eagle in the sea okay so maybe not a yeah. mirror they're they're pepping themselves up in the sh the reflection in the eagle's eye the eagle's eye yeah yes and i want and i think uh, uh doug duggerson should should maybe show up during this and let michael know that the two new recruits are in are, are showing up so um all right so now you can um just start the scene uh, but also describe what your character looks like if, if that's okay for people um and yeah uh definitely so Michael Tree is uh, about 45, uh, but, uh, but yeah, about 45 year old man. He has long brown sort of wavy shoulder length hair and he has a signature, uh, you know, goat, goat, little, little goat patch um, on his face that has, uh, yeah, the streaks of silver in it. And he has these large brown gold rim glasses and he is in he's in his uh his bedroom in his abode at this uh this commute at this commune <clears throat> and uh perched on a uh on yeah perched on a wooden branch basically that's that's within the room is this large bald eagle and he is within an inch of this eagle's face and he says you are embodying the spirit of this majestic creature. <laughs> Let its wisdom flow through you. <laughs> the spirit of the wilderness resides within your heart. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, wow. I am so sorry. I'm having a tech issue and I'm going to have to restart really quickly. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, uh, I'll I'll, pl uh, I'll play someone else actually. I'll, okay. play, the e I'll play the eagle. Um, so okay. what, what <laughs> it, what's the eagle's so... name? Sage. Oh, that's true. It's uh, it's Benavir. Benavir. Okay. First of all, <laughs> f you. <No. laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's like it's like mine. It's like Guinevere, but Ben. So it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's Benifer, but back in like old old yeah. English times. Okay. Yeah. 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 And buttocks are the pillows on which I rest my dreams. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, wait. Uh, where you got the wings are up. Uh, Benavir is like, uh, knows that uh, giving Michael Tree all the attention is how I get treats. That's how I get the, hmm? Hmm? it's how I get the little snacks because I am essentially a little raptor and I work for meats. <laughs> I work for snacks. So I'm just like, mm, mm. and then uh, with each sort of like emphatic statement where there's like a pause, I know that Michael is looking for uh, affirmation that his father never gave him. And so That's I am like nodding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so, and, and this is actually like a weekly thing probably too um oh well, it, yeah this is like this is what we do every saturday morning before the <laughs> first morning meditation because he's got to get the persona up he's you know he's yeah. you know his energy has been drained over the course of the week and needs to you know take in more from the universe and <laughs> so <laughs> with each with each couple of nods he eventually reaches into a little pouch on his side and he produces like little beats of like beats of jerky that he feeds to the eagle he says Penavir, you're the only one who understands me, who understands what it's like to be an endangered species. Penavir <laughs> uh, also looks up to this in the same direction, like in the middle distance, and just goes, <laughs> like, 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 just like, yeah, like is totally fully there, soaring eagle and imagining Michael Tree uh, soaring next to Benavir as a human, oh. though, of course, um, flying. <laughs> Benavir wow. is yeah, very Benavir is doing everything they can to get more snacks, um, and everything they can do to keep it going. Um, oh. so it's at that point you hear, I would assume, uh, a uh, and that's actually probably a great place for that scene to stop. I would say honestly. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh no wait! Oh no wait! No, you wanted it to be negative for you. Oh shoot! 
Oh, okay. Great. Um, so maybe, uh, oh, hello, Noir. Um, sweet. Uh, and thank you, Fawn, for doing the scrambling, uh, or re-scrambling us around. Uh, Noir, did you want to come in uh, while Michael Tree is talking to Benavir the bald eagle? Uh, the bald, bald eagle? <laughs> oh, I think you're muted, too. For oh. Bum, bum, bum. Benavir's like doing the preening and stuff because mm -hmm. Benavir knows they have to be pretty for Michael. It's a, yeah. It's a it's whole a little thing. Bit out of habit, considering the feathers aren't quite there yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they actually. Oh, yeah. I guess I guess Benavir can't fly now either, unfortunately, without those yeah. feathers. So. Mm, yeah, so, without the without the flight feathers. Yeah, yeah that's so what this, uh, meditation uh, that they're going through is very important because that's the only way they can fly through the imagination. <laughs> We fly, we fly with their spirit. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, well, I I'm already feel terrible for Benavir, so we're off to a great start. <laughs> um, well, let's say um, uh, that's when uh, Michael, that's when you hear the sound of a bus coming up the, the hill, and you know that it's the new recruit, so you can run outside if you want. Oh yeah, he 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 throws up in the window and like very much like almost like with this childlike like glee like leans out the window and goes, "Look, Penevier, more recruits! How wonderful! Where are we going to have them sleep? That's not my problem." <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'd say that's the moment when one of Benavir's siblings, who know who outside poops on you. Uh, one that still has feathers. And that's where your scene ends. It's just like, you've just hyped yourself up. You're now covered in bird, separated, you know, all that good stuff. Um, uric yeah. acid. Uric acid. Yes. Yeah. It is very, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and that's, uh, that's uh, how, that's how you're going to meet our, the new uh, recruits. Okay. Love it. Good scene. Who else would like to go next? Or who would like to go? Not who else? <laughs> uh, I guess I, I, I could go uh, next. Uh, okay. Uh, if uh, you're still figuring out a sound and stuff like that, so happy to go. Oh. All right. Oh wait, uh, he, uh, Noir is almost there. There we go. Yay! I'm, oh, I'm so sorry about yeah. that. You're good. You're good. <laughs> it it's happens. like it's not a live show if there's not like some tech fun. Honestly, <laughs> my computer is like hold, hold, now get them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'll gladly jump into the next one. Cool. Okay. Um. I mean, uh, you would you like us to resolve? I'm sorry. Would you like us to establish or resolve this scene for you? You know oh, what? I would. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. You're, yeah, you're no, 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 no. Go on. Go on. Uh, we can establish. Establish. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ivan, uh, Sage, myself. Sorry, I always feel weird. Kind <laughs> of. Um, Jen, uh, what do we want to do with Doug Duggerson? Would they be in the middle of some of their illicit activity, and the bus is early? <laughs> oh, I thought they were establishing for themselves. Got it. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Nora, did you want to establish for yourself that I just... Oh, no. I wanted you guys to establish. Okay. Got okay. it. Okay. Uh, when you said illicit activity, I just thought littering. <laughs> but it would be more illicit activity than just littering, so... I mean, Michael Tree needs to have something to complain about and something to do, so it sort of seems like the thing that Michael's fixer would occasionally do, just to... <laughs> Yeah. yeah dude, littering in the goat pen and it's always like something that like because goats are going to eat it obviously oh, they're right. goats but right. like it might be harmful for them. yeah uh maybe like a, a a stuffed animal like littering a stuffed animal in the goat pen because it's going to get ripped apart <laughs> so right. much for weed gummies <laughs> oh no <laughs> Actually, I feel like those could have like long lasting repercussions throughout the scene. So yeah, I, I think <laughs> like so going through one of the well, yeah, one of the stable people like who's mucking out like the the you know the pasture dropped their bag of like weed gummies and now like the goats are definitely in, in, interested. <laughs> I thought you were right. saying that like one of the stuffed animals I was throwing was filled with like stuffed gummies. Oh my Ooh. god. Contraband stuffed animals. I yes! Like Goat stuffed animals that they are sold in the gift shop and they're stuffed with contraband. <laughs> All right. So Noir, are you so you it sounds like you might have accidentally dropped this then. You wouldn't drop like this money making scheme. 
Oh, no, no, I, 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 I am an aggressive litter because <laughs> that's what Michael needs. <laughs> and like, I needed something to litter today, and I found a big <laughs> sack of 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 these stuffed animals, and that's gonna take a while for the ghost to get into. Not okay. realizing oh. that this is actually somebody's stash. So, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. So you're you're littering. Um. Mm -hmm. Uh. And what? Who, who else would you like in the scene, or is it just you and the goats? Because we can play goats too. <laughs> play goats. <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> what? Just on the strength of wanting you all to be goats. <laughs> all right. And and Here. not only goats. Stone goats. Stone goats. <laughs> My my goat is my goat is gray with little black black like stockings that go all the way up <clears throat> and is like nuzzling one of these like <laughs> and yeah. like immediately goes for the neck. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> 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 all right. Get, get into character. All right, Doug. Here we go. I don't care about the environment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about Mother Nature. <laughs> this is this is the dumbest cry. Um, <laughs> I still use aerosol. Huh. <laughs> Like trying to like now the goats are we're trying to catch them in the air like a dog. Mm -hmm. Like we're yeah, so yeah. excited. We're like <laughs> finally. Goats have no chill. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've got a personal vendetta against the ozone layer and it's smug <laughs> face. <laughs> it's wow. smug face. <laughs> um goats are goats are really going after these bears today. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm um, stopping in the mud. I hate it. I I hate the plushie. I hate its dead eyes. I'm stomping it in the mud. <laughs> are these these are plushies of goats, right? They're of us. Oh, oh what? <laughs> now they yep. are. Now they okay. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you understand this is like a simul simulacrum. I can't even say simulacrum. the word. Sorry. Simulacrum. simulacrum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of 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 you or this yeah. like yeah. So you're just like mm -mm. okay. Yeah, and the reality is, I hate myself so much. That's why I'm stopping it. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like I get this goat. <laughs> Man. Man. Just, just really going to town on that. And like, <laughs> me too, buddy. <laughs> Same I'm going to open Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> and when uh, Doug Duggerson is like having this moment, it was just like, I imagine this goat is just it's like all white with some like like tawny patches like some spots on it and it's like has one of the goat stuffies just like just like practically chewed in half just sort of dripping out of its mouth and it's just like rolling on the ground just like having the best time <laughs> by itself in a corner <laughs> oh man see I get this goat <laughs> But I don't get this goat. <laughs> just rolling around. Rolling around like the world's not terrible. <laughs> Perks up its oh, head man. and looks at you with those horizontal pupils. Oh. Cocks its head a little bit, chewing fluff, like just dripping out of its mouth. <laughs> just gonna like lean over real close. I hate how happy you are, go. <laughs> Uh, while you lean over, uh, Doug Duggerson, my goat bites the back of your pants because um, it's like oh, we're, we, need, we're, 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 we need more of these uh, these, uh, these these plushies over here. I've 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 eviscerated and ripped and eaten all the weed gummies in mine. Uh, but so, and right as I bite, that's when it hits, and I'm like, Whoa. just and like what the, yeah. What's your problem? Go. <laughs> Go? <laughs> Slowly lets go of your pants in a non creepy way. <laughs> realize how, like making no weird noises right by your butt. <laughs> yeah.
I feel like you're bleeding in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, goat? <laughs> It's like all peoples, like they already, so they already have these weird hourglass peoples. So now it's just yeah. like, woo, like they're even more terrifying, or like you know, vertical slits, like yeah, yeah, just, just gonna like double pupils. Toss another one <laughs> and see what you do. <laughs> oh Beautiful. crap! Oh. As soon as I toss it, I go and pick it up, and I'm like, oh, that was close. Um. The industrial complex was the best thing to happen to the planet. <laughs> Beautiful. I think that's a perfect place for that scene to end. You, you've gotten rid of all your plushies. You have done uh, uh, your duty for, and I'm sorry, we didn't actually ask uh, how you wanted to resolve that. It felt kind of positive. I feel like that's positive and negative. Either way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Negative for the bag. planet. Positive for you. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. We've um, got some stone goats, which is the name of my punk fan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ivan, would you like to go next? Uh, yeah. 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 Right. Uh, would you I, like you know to what? establish? I, no, I, I want to see what, because I feel like everybody, we've been establishing everybody else's suit. So I'm actually curious to keep that train running too. All right. Thanks. Okay. Where am I? Okay, so we sort of joked that, or not joked, we talked about possibly uh, Amethyst and Petra coming up on the bus together. Um, but we can also jump forward in time too. Like we can go to like the first uh, fire or the first meditation with the new people. Like we don't have to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but, but what do you all, Sage, uh, Noir, what would you like to do with uh, Ivan's character? Amethyst Bang. Mm. Mm. <laughs> How do you want to embarrass your new friend, Ivan? No, <laughs> but you all did so good a, a job of making me feel like you were goats. I had to remember who you were again. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're establishing, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, did you I... want positive or negative? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, 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 let's do negative just because like, I, I feel like this character is going to be very annoying. So I just yeah, want bad things to happen to I mean, they, okay. they, they could definitely see the littering that's happening. Um, oh, okay. Mm, yeah, mm. rolling mm. rolling up on no. camp and the first thing you see out no. the bus window is just this individual throwing go <laughs> like these plushies around in this pasture to these goats who Which are definitely not organic. incredibly <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I very much dislike how they were teaching animal on animal violence at this compound. I do not I do not agree with it. Terrible. There's like a really annoying camp counselor style person who's trying to get everyone to sing songs together. <laughs> cool. Uh, <clears throat> wow. Uh, Petra's gonna be getting off the bus behind you. Uh, mm -hmm. Amy, this is like, excuse me, what? What are you talking about? Animal uh, well, on well, animal? I was yes, promised well, there was no. Well, you well you see, uh, they are feeding goats to goats, and I think that is violence. <laughs> that you can't feed a goat to a goat. Why teach it no. to hate itself? Why teach it to eat its own kind? They, it is a human being within each animal. Even the stuffed animals, they have a oh, human being mm. soul inside them. Oh, I I'm sorry. Do you know my my grandmother? Is this uh? She teach you about the haunted dolls as well. <laughs> the the haunted. No, I am here to save the animals. I am here to save the goats. I hear they even have a bald bald eagle. I don't. I I cannot approve. Oh, these are I no. I did not know any of these. She's uh, pulling out a clipboard and writing this stuff down. Just like I had not heard of any of this. All of this will have to go before we franchise. And she sort of like stumbles. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just. Uh, it's just uh, a poetry yeah. thing I'm doing for myself. Don't worry about it. I I, I see in incorporated LLC. <laughs> Quite the prose. I, I I must agree. Yes, it's. Uh, I've never. It's a. Uh, it's some sort of a uh, lawyer speak. I'm trying to get. It's like iambic pentameter, but for business people. <laughs> 
So that's uh, what I'm trying to do. Are you going to get off the bus? We've been, I've been standing on this step forever waiting for you um, while you're monologuing <laughs> about these goats. <laughs> well, you know, I, I do feel maybe a little bit safer uh, outside of this bus. So uh, I, I take a, a one step forward, but then I actually don't progress beyond that. <laughs> Ah, good, good. Yeah, she does. She does the like the like holding onto your shoulder and like sliding off like, <laughs> weirdly. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. thank you, um, uh, amethyst. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, and then we. Uh, you said you wanted oh, I'm negative sorry. negative outcome. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, I I I could probably describe uh, what what happens. Like, I think. Uh, maybe the bus lurches forward because it's actually leaving, and then I just fall out into the goat, <laughs> into the goat uh, dirt. Oh no! <laughs> Beautiful Ooh. into the to the goat, the goat matter. Oh, and I'm sorry. Uh, what I'm... does Am Amos Amethyst Bing look like prior to being covered in? Oh yeah, in yeah, goat yeah. Goat. yeah. Uh, what's it called? Um, uh, very short cropped uh, black hair. Um, uh, it, it 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 is. Uh, uh, they they are wearing. Let me see. It's not a bla it is a blazer, uh, but it's made out of sweat material. And it is actually an entire onesie that is meant to look like a dress outfit, but it's a sweat onesie that uh, which by the way, those exist and they're that's, insane. That's very <laughs> upsetting. <laughs> yeah. I um, love it. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so that's what you did look like before you got covered in dirt. Beautiful. And yeah. Great and scene. Okay. Um, so now it's uh, Petra's turn. Um, you know what? I'm gonna keep it going. You all can uh, establish a scene for Petra. I don't trust you, but I'm happy to do it for fun. So, <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna say it's actually negative as well currently. Uh, and I'm sorry. I will give you your little negative card, Ivan. Mm. No. Um. And you mentioned that we could probably uh, go a little bit forward in time or to another point, like in the day or something. That Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do like the idea of uh, this is kind of like the orientation fire, uh, mm -hmm. like where everybody's going to like meet each other. Maybe there's going to be like duck, duck, goose or something like that. Um, <laughs> and uh, I think uh, uh, Petra is, is being passed uh, the um, speaking stuffed goat. Uh, where whoever has it uh, is it gets to like introduce themselves or like uh, I don't know say say why they came here. Uh, mm. All right, the yeah. food has been awful though. Uh, this entire <laughs> time. <laughs> which is it, it, which it has to be Michael Tree's fault honestly because vegan food is delicious. Uh, so like I <laughs> low quality ingredients. He doesn't spices. believe in spices. <laughs> Yeah. Oh okay. no! Yeah, it, yeah, He's that it was, vegan. Uh, it was mostly like tree bark, um, that, and tree bark paste and tree bark cheese, if you can believe it. Mm, mm. But not with using any maple syrup, by the way. None of the, exactly. none of the tree no, blood no. that would actually help it out. Okay, that's extravagant. Yeah. I, okay. I, I'm just gonna add one thing, uh, because I can't, I can't let go of these goats. I think. Uh, <laughs> I think they got a hankering for the gush. <laughs> and I think they're plotting on getting some more. I don't know how that plays in, but I just want that to be in the background. That's that's yeah. good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of eyes glittering in the in the light of the can of the uh, fire fireplace while we're singing. Okay. Uh Petra's sitting on a rock very primly. Uh she sort of did the reverse of uh <laughs> amethyst and is wearing like um trying to fit in so it's just like basically uh rated a prop closet at a high school for like hippie wear and so it's very much like <laughs> there's like a peace sign t-shirt and like uh what are those uh what are those pants called the bell bottoms, bell -bottoms? like very yeah. like very like uh, like yeah. just like a, a look that's not even like useful here yeah. um sandals so, so now she stepped in goat poop constantly and is definitely between the toes <laughs> yeah yeah but it's constantly kind of, like the, pulling out wipes and like I'm sorry, sorry. No, no, no it's okay. Uh, I was actually gonna ask since, since you know it's it's a prop closet from a high school. Uh, they probably don't have like actual like uh, vintage bell bottoms. Can they just be like Jinko jeans? Yeah. <laughs> yes, they're Jinko yes. jeans. But then she tried to like like put like 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 cinch them with like bows or something at the like, like and she's just like mm-hmm mm-hmm. But yeah, they just keep falling off. So there's. <laughs> 
Yes, yeah. perfect. Oh my God, the pockets though. Oh my God, there's so much. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like a world a woman has never known or a feminine <laughs> body type. Like, yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. just like, I can fit the whole clipboard in these. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting just like, mm, okay. Um, so, oh yeah, holding the talking goat. I don't have any stuffies. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> grab my cat. Uh, I am here uh, definitely not to see what is the most marketable thing here. Uh, is it you, Michael? Is it the people? Is it the herd of goats that watch my every move? Um, <laughs> Which, by the way, why is there a goat slit in the bathroom? So if a goat <laughs> walks by, they can see right in. It's, um, I, I blocked it up. I'm not going to lie. Uh, uh, I, I'm here to, uh, uh, and then she like looks at her hand where she's definitely written some stuff down. I am here to learn about how I can live as one with nature. <laughs> yes. Wonderful, Our my child. That's what we're all here for, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> okay, thank you, Michael. So how uh, how long have you, uh, <laughs> she's gonna start going, how long has uh, this been open and uh, uh, what sort of taxes do you pay? Well, it feels like I've run this establishment over the course of several lifetimes, you know, before mm. I was a farmer who tilled this land and then was horribly and forcibly removed. But then the goats brought my spirit back to this place. <laughs> um, excuse me, sir. Are, are, are you saying that these goats are the natural residents of this uh, area of land here? Are we trespassing on these goats' sacred property? <laughs> well, the goats are, they're welcoming. They are harbingers of good tidings. You know, I agree with that. So, yeah. <laughs> and, and the slit in the bathroom is because the goats like to watch, according to Michael. <laughs> yes, I understand. I just don't appreciate or approve. So maybe um, if we, I don't know, made a second location uh, called Double Rainbow Mountain. I don't know. I'm just throwing out <laughs> ideas here. Uh, maybe we put a little sliding uh, door so people can choose if the goats can uh, watch or so not. It's a triple Rainbow Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's another of the Double Rainbow Mountain, would it be a quadruple rainbow quadruple. mountain? <laughs> Double squared. <laughs> And I and I've been trying to get Michael to close up the bathrooms because I it I, I have a hard time going when people watch and the goats just don't stop watching. And... You know, it is the goats' right to watch. They watch everyone and themselves when they go to the bathroom. They should be I know, but I I feel like they're commenting on things. <laughs> he looks yes, at I felt Amethyst. very I felt like they were judging my wiping technique. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and that's a great place, I think, to end that scene. Because uh, <laughs> I feel like I've reached the edge of my poop jokes. Just kidding. Everyone knows I'm full of them. Um, so that went, I would say, yeah, a little negatively because uh, Petra clearly had some bathroom problems happening. And it seems like everyone else, well, I mean, obviously, Doug Duggerson is not into that, too. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it seems like the goats are also, they're, like, co-leading this place. So, okay. Um, I haven't so peed in done... three months. I'm so <laughs> It's just a hard cube that comes out. Now. Um, okay, so we've all done one uh, one round of scenes, so we, we're going to do another one. So who uh, and we don't have to go in the same exact order as last time. So who wants to have another scene? And again, we can skip forward. We can, yeah, we can bring in some other people. Um, NPCs. I'll go again. Why not? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to establish wow. or resolve? I'm going to give myself a negative ending here. Okay. All right. Um, so that means that we establish. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like this is the first time that we've established five scenes in a row uh, while I've been playing this game uh, on Roll20. So it's like, <laughs> I'm like, OK, OK. You're playing with a bunch of masochists that hurt me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what can we? OK. Um, 
Okay, so Doug Doggerson again is. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't oh, don't I'm forget a criminal, we have we, a pragmatist. Yeah, pragmatist. And don't forget we also have these needs and the, these objects, which oh. I know. I, um, and with this is going to be going after that object, but um, maybe we can establish uh the need to get to know what's happening in the meditation room because maybe it's mm -hmm. locked during certain hours or something. So. Um, or it's yeah. the only place where there's a bathroom where the goats can't walk. <laughs> It's the yeah. real, pri the privy, the private privy. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, I want to say that we, or, or sorry, d do you all want to do something like that with the, the meditation room, or what do you want to do? I don't want to like. Love that. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I you you that killed fun. it with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, uh, you, maybe like after a uh, morning meditation. How many meditations are there, Michael? Uh, there are seven. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Okay, so maybe after it's the, the next third one. <laughs> after the third one the next day, so at eleven oh seven. Uh yeah, that's when uh yeah, when you decide to like try to stay in the maybe so maybe it's an, a, between uh Doug and Michael and you're trying to stay in the meditation room because you've heard about that bathroom and then maybe Michael's trying to get you to leave for some he's reason. He's trying to shoo everyone out just like he's like, No, go eat lunch, please leave. <laughs> But I need to meditate more because I'm so, um, what's the opposite of meditated? <laughs> unmeditated. I'm unmeditated. Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it skanking in a mosh pit? <laughs> that's the or is that, that's still meditative though. Yeah. That's true. That's excitatory meditation. Yeah. Yeah. It's more just aggressive meditation. Yeah. So, so like, I'm just going to stay here just a couple of minutes uh, you can go lead your f flock, I guess, and um, and I'll be in here meditating <laughs> and nothing else. Duggerson, well, I really do appreciate all that you do for us. This is the one moment I have to myself with Ben. You always call me Duggerson when you're about to tell me no. <laughs> <laughs> You know how I hate that word. <laughs> Wait, Duggar said or no? <laughs> it's you probably we both. Yes. You're, you're <laughs> weaponizing my surname, Michael, and that's one of the things that I need to meditate about. <laughs> Let me meditate in the meditation room by myself. But it's that's the core practice of this community, though, Doug. What is that? I, is that when you spend time with the goats, they siphon the negative desires from you with their unending and persistent eye contact? <laughs> Sorry, I'm quoting the last end of that speech. Unending and persistent. Unending eye contact. <laughs> I gotta be. I gotta be honest with you, Michael. I don't understand. I've been here for a while, and I still don't understand. Can we just put one stall in the bathroom, <laughs> Michael? Please. I. I shaved the eagle for you. <laughs> Benavir gives you a, a real a real look. To <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't even pluck it. I shaved it. And I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's treason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nations are social constructs, but I take your point, Doug. I know that it takes some some kids longer to walk than others, so today you may have use of the meditation room. <laughs> Okay, and um, <laughs> awesome. Thank I, I mean, <clears throat> thank you, Michael. Uh, you can uh, you can go leave your flock. I'm just gonna be in here. <laughs> when and, you go into the bathroom, there's a goat waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> the entire compound just hears no. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect scene. Amazing. Amazing. Yep. Oh my god. 
the good head mints out though, you know, like the tip tray. No, oh. Yeah. Prolonged oh eye contact. Prolonged eye contact. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, who would like to go next? Man, Michael's a real piece. I yeah. love it. Um, I I'd uh I, I think I'd like to I'd like to go next. Yeah, yeah. Do you uh, want to establish your scene or do you want yeah, to? Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Woo! I haven't taken um, charge. Uh what's it called? Um so Ben Benavir is in the meditation room, right? Like that's that's sort of like we've established, or is this like a private med a private meditation room? Oh yeah, he's in there. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I know that like everybody left and he got locked up, and but I know that Benavir is in there, so I'm gonna try to establish contact. Um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Amethyst it, uh, prides themselves on uh, being able to speak all the animals' beautiful languages. Uh, from the great cause of the crow to the majestic moves of the cows. Um, so uh, they're going to try to just establish a rapport through the door. They, they know it's locked, uh, but they, they by connecting with the beautiful animal, maybe they can figure out a game plan on how to get out. Um, so it's, <clears throat> uh, they, 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 they soften their voice a little. So, <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, uh, they they really don't know animal sounds. They just yeah, Benavir uh, 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 saying, what did, he call <laughs> my, what did he call my mother? Like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, Benavir's just like, I, who doesn't love broccoli? Uh, I just sort of like, like, uh, uh? like, just like, okay, like, maybe, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, Vedavir's like, maybe this person is going through a crisis. <laughs> they connected with me. Mm -hmm. And, but they might also have treats on them. Again, Vedavir, one track oh, bird. So good. it's just, Vedavir's like, come on, play along. I'm going to help yeah. them out. <laughs> like, just the most positive, <laughs> life affirming call you've ever heard. Okay, cool. Um, uh, Amethyst takes that as like a complete green light, and in fact, uh, a call that might sound like they're in danger. They're not. It's not really danger. They're just overreacting. <laughs> um, so they take five big steps back, run straight towards the door, hit it with their shoulder, and then hear a big crack. <laughs> it is getting so hard to pee in here. <laughs> <laughs> Benavir would would flap and, and try to fly away, but again, has no feathers, so it's just sort of like shuffling oh, around on this like oh. weird, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just when they're really panicking. Oh my gosh! Um... <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't establish also whether I wanted that to be a, a, a good editor. Yeah, I guess I didn't. Establish uh, no, also yeah, whether we can choose. Actually, a, you established that so we would resolve editor. it for you. So oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, please, please, please. So please. do we think that that went well for Amethyst? I think it was he, very affirming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he got in good with uh with the feathered friend. So or de feathered friend. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that works for me. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get out. I mean, he may positive. have caused Doug to accidentally pee on a goat, though. <laughs> <laughs> but again, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't know what that. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I almost, I almost said we don't know what that goat's into. Sorry. Anyway. Um, <sighs> okay. Oh my. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I think I have a scene for Petra. If that's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go go go. Yeah. Um, so Petra is, again, still trying to figure out ways to steal this business model. She's trying to find out all the, the good dirt. And uh, she knows that this place is <clears throat> uh, has really bad food now. But in her never ending, uh, like, five suitcases she brought, because she also didn't um, uh, adhere to the uh, the wants and needs of the group to like give up all your earthly possessions. She's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, she's actually got a lot of food, uh, including uh, 
like a beef jerky. So she's, uh, mm. or an, and fish jerky. She's got it all. She's trying to cover the gamut. She's like, maybe someone's a pescatarian. She's like, and so she's like, gonna, uh, I would like a scene with uh, her and Doug, Doug or where she's going to try to like uh, get Doug on her side and the mm. little crime time. So <laughs> crime time. Crime time. So, so Doug, what are you doing after you finally are out of the bathroom and washed your hands? Um, well, bold of you to assume. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, I think, I think he's uh looking for something to recycle. I mean, to to litter with. <laughs> so you just kind of see him looking around for things to like litter. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be hard in like a in like a zero waste uh composting community, Compact. right? Yeah. yeah. Everybody's yeah. reusing and recycling, and that makes <laughs> this very difficult. <laughs> um yeah, so you hear you hear the <laughs> Petra opens up some jerky and you hear the illicit sound of one-time use plastic being crackled. Uh <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's at right there. That's that good. That's that good pollution. <laughs> oh, hi. Yes. Hey, uh, what's up? How you doing? Mr. Duckerson. Yes. Hello. Um, I have uh yeah. no, please, please, no one don't say anything, but I have and she like does a little, I don't know, puts her back to all the goats that again are always watching. Um I have a little, uh, I, I snuck in some stuff. I'm sorry. I just did not know uh, what kind of food situation we had here. And uh, I'm very glad I did. Would you like some? No, but I want your garbage, though. Excuse me, what? I want your <laughs> garbage, please. I want your trash. Oh, the, the packaging, the packaging. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. yes, yeah. And she's like, yeah, yeah. Um, She's like, you know, I also have, Um, she pulls out, I have some, some mail. Um, and you know this little plastic window people always forget. Are you forget not using that? It. Is, no, is, no, yeah, it's all for you. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I've got here. <laughs> pulls out, pulls out like a linen bag. It's like Santa sack. Like, <laughs> what else? You, you know, you really doing me a solid here. I'm, I, I have to pollute every day, and it's so hard here because, like, no, you know. I'm sorry, what pollute? Is that not? Yeah. Uh, she, she's pulling out her clipboard again from her Jinko jeans pocket. Uh, so it, it, it's actually a full body reach to the ankle of uh, where uh, it has like slid down to. Yeah. And then uh, I like all that pocket space you got. I think, yes, it's also a good stretch for my backside and my hammies. Um, but tell me, uh, why are you polluting? I thought this was part of the uh, giving back to Mother Earth and taking care of the environment. Like, why was it too clean? Have you accomplished what you needed to? I mean, these hippies need something to do and they need to feel like they're saving the planet. And it's like they don't want to do any like actual work to save the planet. So we <laughs> stage, we stage like, oh no, pollution. And they're like, we'll clean it up. And then they pretend they're going to clean it up, but they don't. And then they just get high. And then the goats, the goats eat the trash and they're like, we did that. And I'm like, whatever. You know, I I got have to create problems for them to notice that there are problems so that they can pretend to fix it and then do nothing to fix it. You understand how this works. I absolutely, I think you are a genius. I think you are the true leader here, not Michael. I, I mean, between me, <laughs> you like, I, I came to mug this place when yes, I first yes. mm -hmm. Kindred souls, yes. And like, don't let Michael fool you. He's got a really big gun. And he pointed at <laughs> me and said, you shaved that eagle, you know. <laughs> I shaved the eagle. I've just kind of been here ever since. Oh my. Okay. So wait. I'm sorry. Just to just to tie a little uh, plastic bow around this package. Uh, you cause the problems. Yeah. Uh, people feel fulfilled. Uh huh. Uh, you're sort of. You've been kidnapped yeah. or uh, dug napped, if you will. Yeah. Uh, how much money do people pay to be here to have this false? It's like a summer camp for activists. 
you know, do anything, but they can write home about it. Um, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know why I decided to mug this place. I'm from Philadelphia, but it's just, uh, I mean, we're in, uh, I'm going to say Vermont. So it's a quite, uh, you know, it's not too far. I mean, just one drunken bender, you find yourself yeah, oops, I'm on your the face being told to shave an eagle, you know? It happens to all of us, Doug. I, I thank you. Finally, somebody that's listening and, and, and being empathetic with me because this has been a hard situation. I I peed on a goat today on accident. It's been a rough day. <laughs> and I just... I, and then you come around and you got that sweet, sweet garbage. And, and then you listen to me. <laughs> just thank you. Just I haven't seen money pass in hands, but I know that Mike's got to have a, a, a storage of cash around here somewhere. All these people are like rich hippies with trust yes. funds. I There's a bus yes. that brings them in. I mean, you saw it. Yes, I recognize a lot of a lot of Congress people's kids here. So, yeah. um, but what if you and me, what if we did a little kidnapping of our own? Look, I, I can't shave that eagle again. I still have nightmares. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that a yes? I don't know this colloquialism. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what colloquialism means. <laughs> Uh, does, does not wanting to shave an eagle mean yes or no to my question? Oh, it means I don't want to shave an eagle. Okay. And then, I'm going to say that's, that's scene. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So good. So good. All right. So how do we think that went for uh, Petra? Oh, uh, that seemed uh, positive. I, it seemed positive. <laughs> She's establishing connections. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she has a partner. Sorry, I gave in, you a uh, gun, Michael. <laughs> Oh, he definitely has a gun. <laughs> Sage didn't skip a beat like, yeah, that's right. I mean, how else would you get someone to shave an eagle, to be fair? So <laughs> only a gun. Imagine um, a Doug shaving the eagle and cry. Like, I'm killing America. Yeah. I assume it was also like a bick for her uh, razor as well. Like, just a triple blade, purple or pink ergonomic razor. It wasn't like... <laughs> So also not good for the environment. Um, okay, so we have we have one more scene. It's gonna be a Michael Tree scene. So Sage, would you like to establish or resolve? I've got a I've got a scene in mind for Michael, but also for our two newest recruits. Uh, it is set at the fifth meditation of the day, and oh. one where it is <laughs> where it's it's just the new recruits. All of the other you know, more long-term and established uh, members are going out and they're having their own, you know, meditational practice, which is digging holes on the property. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Manual labor is a great way to connect with Mother Earth. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I'm just going to send you a private note here in the chat about where we can bring take that to later. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so uh and so yeah, so Michael is standing up at the front, the meditation is just about to begin. There's you know the 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 gong sounds and there's like this air of like you know tension in the air of like oh what's gonna happen? And he's you know he's wearing these white robes and that are just kind of this almost almost like sheer kind of linen, and you can tell he looks very full of himself, and he walks into the room and he looks at all of you and he says Today is the day that we partake in the eagle ceremony where you will learn to fly with your spirit. And as a token to give to each of you to help you on this journey here. And he passes to everyone an eagle feather. And you see <laughs> Bedivere, Bedivere perched at the back naked. <laughs> And alone. <laughs> Bedivere has given each of you this gift so that you too may learn to fly and be reborn and molt your ways of the past. 
Uh, Petra's holding the feathers, just quietly saying, this is very expensive if we decide to franchise. I don't think we can do this. I think, uh, plan B. Plan B it is. Um, thank you! Oh, sorry, are yeah. we allowed to talk? Oh, please. Yes. This is a very vocal uh, ceremony, as you know, eagles make a lot of noises and vocalizations. <laughs> I assume Benever also says nothing this entire time. Is it? Uh, <laughs> just a nothing. Am uh, Amethyst is just visibly stewing and just goes like, ah, ah, and then just immediately starts grabbing <laughs> each of the feathers from the people to like try to run it over to Benavir. <laughs> oh, my feather! I can't um, uh, assimilate to a higher plane uh, level in the video game, Petra says, uh, very convincingly. <laughs> Amethyst, no! And there's like, there's other people that are probably grumbling, complaining, like, hey, you know, you can't do that. Um, people are chucking <laughs> uh, sandals at you. <laughs> oh, mm, mm, no, uh, these uh, beautiful feathers belong to Benavir, and that should be respected and agreed upon. Uh, my, uh, uh, trying to. Michael, 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 I have a slight issue. Why would you uh, make this poor, beautiful eagle be nude all the time away from these beautiful feathers? And I'm just trying to shove it into the cage now. I'm just trying to shove the feathers <laughs> into the cage. Well, he's not naked all the time, but much like us as we enter into the world naked and afraid. Uh, that's so where I recognize more. you, Petra says. <laughs> ah, season four! Yes! <laughs> I, I didn't you. recognize you without the uh, dixelation, a pixelation over your parts. I mean, what are you called? <laughs> he swatches his luxurious locks back from behind his face. I did have a brief stint in acting, but I realized that I needed to let go of my ego and start a community in my image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I got, I got mugged by a reality TV. So <laughs> <laughs> Is, is yeah. that is that Zaga here from the goldsmith in the bathroom? <laughs> and see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> okay, uh, so how do we how do we think we went, that went for Michael, uh, Ivan, and Noir? Uh, I, I think. I, uh... <laughs> I don't. I don't. I feel like, yeah, I. I think that might have gone a little bit negatively because now the image of like the god <laughs> is broken a little bit to like be a, a reality TV show star. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, yeah, people might not have known that. That feels. Mm. That feels right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I can tell you that upon hearing it, Doug immediately wants to try to rob you again. <laughs> <laughs> I know where this money's buried. <laughs> yep. Oh, right. So now that we've done two uh, scenes per person, we've now completed act one. So for those who have never played Fiasco, this is where we do the tilt. And this is where we do something called, um, I like to call it, I'm the only one that calls it this, math. So um, <laughs> if everyone can, if everyone can uh, take their little cursor and click on, you right click on your positive or negative cards, and you flip the card, you'll actually be able to read it. Drag and drop, unless there, okay, good. I gave you permissions. <laughs> and you can also like drag the corner to make it larger. Let us see. <laughs> so, all right, so here is how we will do the math, but again, I will help you. <laughs> So Ivan, you have yep. two different colors. You mm -hmm. have a positive, I'm sorry, no, you have a blue two and a red four. So what you will do is subtract your lower number from your higher number. So cool. you end up with a, your end result is a red two. Does that make sense? Yeah, yep, yep. Okay, so Noir, I see you have a red, or we'll, we'll go over to Sage, because Sage actually has the same colors. <clears throat> so if you have two of the same colors, you actually just add them. So Sage, okay. you five and three, you have a, <laughs> a red eight. That was the first, uh, the name of the first cult that Michael tried to start. 
<laughs> red, red, eight. red eight. Yeah. It sounds like an M and M chemical, like in oh, Hershey's no. candy or something. That's like what you did. You only ate red M and M's until you hallucinated. <laughs> <laughs> It just looked like people had blood coming out of their mouths, but it was just the red dye. Oh, gosh. Um, sorry. Everyone enjoy that image. Okay. Noir. Oh, okay. So you have a blue three and a red one. So you are... Sorry. A blue two. And I have a red three minus a blue one. So I am a red three. Okay. So now the person that had the highest numbers gets to choose that one of those. So Noir, you have the highest blue. So mm -hmm. you can now look around the board and pick one of the blues that you would like to add to the game. Um, and then Sage, since you had the highest red, you can look around the board and add one of the reds uh, to the game. And so these, this is something that we will now do. We will add these to our scene. So it's like a little twist, uh, a little, cause okay. as if we didn't already have enough drama, this adds a little bit more, a little guaranteed, uh, tilt action. All right. I've, I've picked my, okay. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Yep. Cause I have eagle eyes, I guess. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're choosing paranoia, a sudden reversal of status, fortune, or sympathy. Love this. Okay. Ooh, and then I got to go with innocence. The wrong person gets busted. Love <laughs> it. Oh. As the criminal, okay. that makes me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna, we're gonna keep these cards though, because these are gonna, the rest of them, and I've written down who had what. So that way you will uh, be able to be able to do more math later, which is, again, I know everyone's favorite. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And so now we, yeah, love that math, a little color math. Again, not too hard. It's not like we're constantly adding dice to proficiencies, to features to weapons that give us actually yeah anyway um <laughs> no, not to throw shade uh so throw now we shade. move on yeah. <laughs> so now um and yeah if anyone's been i should have said if anyone was watching now is the perfect time to go to the bathroom but we're done so now is the bad time to go to the bathroom um unless you at home also have a goat slit in your door so you can hear us <laughs> Um, or watching on your phone i guess again i don't need to know please don't tell us uh okay Stop watching <laughs> it's the eye contact that oh my gosh yeah oh i hope we get back to that because i had a joke that i could not horn shoe in the scene without um yeah okay no leaving now thank you fawn exactly okay so now we will do act two in which we'll do the same thing we'll each have two scenes however given how long these have gone um we will probably each only get one scene and then maybe we'll do mm. um one big final scene with all of us before the aftermath um that's just the way the cookie crumbles when you're playing at home you can play as long as you want so i've had fiasco games that have lasted five hours before so you know it just, wow. it's a... <laughs> um so uh but yeah we were on you know we were we were playing as goats the whole time so it did take a while <laughs> so Okay. Does anyone have a scene uh, that they would like to start? Like, does anyone uh, want to establish a scene? I guess we should say. Um, now that we have these new uh, tilts that we can add. Ooh. Obviously, uh, I guess when we say get busted, we have to maybe find a crime first of all, too. But uh, <laughs> I, I, I'd be down with some Petra action and like uh, working over these Congress kids, <laughs> trust fund kids. Um, just putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to see that. Okay. Um, and can we can't also we have actually a... be treason. Say what? I said, can the crime actually be treason? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm um, worried and again. Forget... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm back. <laughs> I love the idea of Michael getting busted for shaving the eagle because, like, because uh, Amethyst, like, calls into uh, fish and game and fish and wildlife. <laughs> that, that sounds... Why don't we just start there? You want to start there? <laughs> um, okay. So, okay. Or how about this? Doug, how about you and Petra are working on a scheme to oust Michael from his position of power so we can take over. All right. That I, dig it. I dig it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it'll be our scene. And then um, I will say 
By the way, though, we will have this by the waterfall, a location we have not used and is on our game oh, board. Nice. So, <laughs> bing, Ooh. bing, bing. We won. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, so we are, I guess, behind the waterfall, like in any video game. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> or, or in front of it currently. Yeah. Just like, um, okay. Yes. Oh, did I do that? Or was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or sorry, if that was fun. Thank you. Um, okay. So we are in uh, the waterfall. In the huh? waterfall? We want to be swimming? Yeah. You know what? I'm, you know, dog might be trying to make moves. So yeah. It was just like, uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're in our, yeah. Petra's in a, uh, <laughs> Petra's in a one piece that somehow has a uh, uh, a blazer top though, so it's got like the uh, it's got uh, like actually, little. Actually... Oh, are, okay. are you changing your mind now? Oh no no no, go ahead go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 that was it. I was just gonna say it's got the lapels and then like maybe even some shoulder nice. pads though. Wow, that's amazing. I love mm -hmm. it. I I should mention that the only clothes that Michael has uh, deemed. Uh, worthy for uh doug has just been old out of print hot topic clothes so <laughs> so he is uh currently uh he just is taking off his dragon ball z button up <laughs> okay <laughs> to, to reveal some no fear boxers perhaps to swim in uh yeah he's got the ha you uh now you can't see me camouflage shorts on <laughs> Excellent. Is there a wallet chain in there too? <laughs> oh man. As a studded um, belt. I mean, that's one of the things. The, oh, a white studded belt? Okay. Come yeah, on. exactly. Some of us <laughs> still would wear them if they would keep manufacturing them. I don't know. Um, <laughs> True story. Yeah. <laughs> Sage and I are the same. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Petra, Petra just sort of lazily like primping their lapel. So, Doug, how do we get Michael Cree? How do we shake him down from his own... I don't... You know what I mean. <laughs> I was literally just going to mug him, but yeah, I'm, I'm planning. We should we should do that because I didn't plan last time, and uh, you know, uh, but no, I planned yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, well, well, hey, you're, well, you're nice. Oh yes, no, thank you. This uh you made a full picnic basket and never yeah. a goat hair to be seen. It was it was so hard. There were so many hairs in the sandwich, but I plucked each one out just for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you did not have to do that. I my uh gastrointestinal works have almost figured out what to do with them, so <laughs> I appreciate it. I mean kudos to you. It took me months. <laughs> took me months just just blockage. So much blockage. <laughs> uh, but right, Michael, I, we should, we should, um, we could beat him up in his sleep or, or something. I don't. I know. I, I like the energy, the mugging, the, it's very visceral. It's very face to face. Yeah. Uh, what about, don't, is there like a secret you know about him or something that we could make, like make some authority figures find out about so that way our fingerprints aren't really on it? You know, like he won't necessarily know it was us. What do you think about that? Man, um, I I don't know. I I know he, he's always there's this one goat that he keeps real close, and every time I ask him about it, he gets weird about it. I don't know what's up. Maybe it's an informant goat or something. I just do that's you think the, only... the goat is uh, has people inside of it that are part <laughs> of a government agency? Is the goat bugged? I think the goat might be bugged. I I don't know <laughs> for what purpose, but it just every time I ask about that goat, like earlier today, I was trying to sneak into the meditation room bathroom, and and I thought I got I thought I pulled the <laughs> the wool over Michael's eye because goat. Um. Anyway, no, that's sheep's. I hate it here. <laughs> No, oh. it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. No, I thought it was very funny. You're very handsome, yes. <laughs> um, but but I went into the bathroom and there was that goat. That goat, you know? It was oh, waiting. Hmm. 
Interesting. Um, all right. So I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, trying to sew the cursed doll, as we like to say, where I am from. Uh, bring all the parts together. Um, we have Michael. We have informant goat. You have a goat formant. Goat formant. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Portmanteaus always. Uh, um. Do you think Michael is abusing the goats in any way? Is there some uh, authority figure we could tell about uh, and Michael could be uh, incarcerated? I mean, honestly, I feel like some of the goats abuse Michael. It just doesn't do anything about it. <laughs> okay, like, yeah. I mean, yes, it's a... Because one day he came out with a shiner and the only one people <laughs> in the room was him and the goats. And I asked him about wow. it. And he told me it was the only time that he's having cussed at me, but he looked me in the eye and he said, Doug, shut the fuck up. And I was like, okay, Michael. <laughs> wow. I don't know goodness. what that goat did. Yeah, I, I would have assumed that Michael would have tried to like make a joke about it or something, you know, no, make he, you feel better. But... He got scary serious. Yeah, I don't know. That's a... All right. Um, you... Is there something, okay, okay. How about this? Is there something we can blame on Michael that he didn't do? I shaved an eagle. That's got to yes, be Yes, like... I've heard. I thought that was just an expression that you liked to say. I did not. Is that a real thing? I full on shaved that eagle. Like buzzers oh, in the... hand. I didn't even think you were supposed to shave eagles. I thought you pluck them. But I had to I... shave them. I think they pluck themselves. But yes. Uh... <laughs> Jen says with 100% certainty. Thank you, Internet. Uh, so. Yes, I don't. That's surely that's a violation of something. Is, what kind of bird is it again? An eagle? It was a it was a bald eagle. Well, I mean, oh, it that's... was a bald eagle, but then it was a balder eagle. A balder. Okay, yes. Do, is it that the national bird of this place? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> national bird of America, and I. So that's probably a crime that they would actually persecute for versus any of the other millions of hate crimes because it's a symbol, but not the real human. After the sounds I heard it, if it's not a crime, it should be. <laughs> Have you ever heard an eagle cry? Not uh squawk. Only doves. Cry. <laughs> Why are you crying? I mean Doug, Doug. <laughs> I don't know. I just keep hearing it play again in my head. <laughs> it sounded like, ah, but I, what I understood was why. <laughs> I, oh, I didn't okay. have an answer. And then it was like, ah, and I, and I understood that to be like, why the shaving cream? It was just like, to, to get close <laughs> without nicking the skin, bro. <laughs> Did you did you hear? I felt like I heard someone screaming a joke about this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it sounded something like that. Yeah, that's okay. So that has to be we we can call um the national wildlife people. I'm just get I don't know what they are called here, but we can call them and tell them what happened. And we if it's like we go we have. But Michael has the clippers still. They've got my DNA on the buzzer. <laughs> the, you okay? That's fine. Uh, I will figure out a way to get his fingerprints on it, and then okay. Oh, you're so. And smart. then he'll be then then he'll be bu buzzarded, bu busted, bu buzzed, be end buzzed. scene, end yeah. scene, end <laughs> scene. Well, <I'm> broken joke. <laughs> just she just keeps trying to make a, a joke. That's okay. <laughs> Dare you with the so, oh, Sage, can you please say the joke that you wrote in in our chat while we're trying to have a, a real scene here? No. Oh, oh, Doug Duggerson turned that eagle into a buzzard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So how do we? I can't. I can't. <laughs> I feel like oh, that went positively. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that went positively. Yeah, yeah, for we had sure. a plan. 
Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. Who wants to go next? <laughs> oh god. Ooh, I feel like does maybe uh, Amethyst like confront Michael with like the list of infractions? <laughs> yeah. That, that sounds good. I like that. I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, so, uh, start storming up to, uh, uh, Michael, um, for, for some reason, his, uh, sweat onesie suit is now dirty with, uh, goat leavings up to about the thigh. No reason it should be up to the thigh, but there it is. Um, and it's like, Michael, I, I have a list and, uh, I think that you are going down. Uh, I am revealing myself. Uh, who is actually stowed away on this uh, journey to actually list all these infractions towards the animal kind that, that you are doing now and continue to perpetrate with your compound. Uh, first, it is uh, a drugging of goats. Um, it is a shaving of eagles. It is uh, not providing uh, bottled water to any of these goats. And, and about five or seven other goat related, but you really don't have a whole lot of animals on this compound. So I, I have to tear <laughs> down my list to, uh, you know, the, the essentials. You know, I, I really deeply appreciate your concern about the animal welfare. That's why I extended an invitation to you and why I felt like you would be such a positive force. Oh, 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 really? Hmm. Uh, well, 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 you know, I do have several ideas and, and I think I could definitely uh, improve the quality of life for, for all the animals here. And, you know, maybe, maybe the humans, but, you know, but definitely the animals. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We would not be here if it were not for the animals. And that's, so why, I need, so that's why I need so much money from all of these people that come here so that we could make a better life for them so uh so 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 you say you have money um uh d d does this job comes with 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 a sort of salary uh because you know you have to take a lot of care with these animals and you know that, that requires a lot of skill and knowledge which which i assure you that i have uh i i, I did a, a volunteer at a uh, several puppy mills uh but uh do not call them they don't exist anymore um Oh, I think I owned one in like Southern Connecticut, but it was it was called Red Eight. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm looking at it opening a new center, and I think you would make for a really great director. You know, Michael, that is a wonderful idea, and I'd love to uh, join you on that journey, especially if we are to take care of these animals again. Humans are secondary to me, but animals I will help. I hey, humans are secondary, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so uh please tell me more about this money. Money, please. I mean where I mean, you know, it's the goats watch over it. My favorite goat, Thaddeus. So smart. So smart. Uh, Thaddeus, I would love to meet this Thaddeus. I'm sure I will establish a great rapport with this Thaddeus. Meh, it's yeah. already he's That's already wrong. behind you. Gives <laughs> <laughs> you a headbutt with the horns <laughs> in the back of the leg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now I got goat droppings up to my chest. <laughs> exactly, and you see as Thaddeus like approaches with this un unnerving quickness, uh, you see Michael's eyes flash with a, a shock, with just a f splash of terror uh, flints across his eyes as he sees Thaddeus approach. And that's where we cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> Sage, that was Michael's scene, right? Or is that Ivan's? Or um It could be either, either <laughs> I guess. Oh wait, uh <laughs> I believe that was oh, my book. Uh, I feel like Sage said, established your scene. All right. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay. yeah it's my thing. Okay. Uh, it was still like, yeah, is that a mixed bag? It's like positive and negative. I mean, positive that I guess I'm gonna be a director of like an animal compound, but negative that the Thaddeus is behind me and about to strong arm me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, legs. it's very cool that you think it's going to last that long. But yes, um, great. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have a 
Michael Tree and a Doug Duggerson scene left. Uh, and then maybe we'll do like one big one big final one too. Um, but do either of you have a, like Doug, do you wanna be working on step, the next step in the- Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I would like to be sneaking into uh, Michael's office to get my hands on those clippers. Uh, and Ooh. I would like, uh, let's let's say Amethyst spots me. <laughs> are, are are you coming up with with a with an animal related lie? Uh, for <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> or the truth. No. <laughs> or the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you yeah. Know, <laughs> You know what? I'd like Amethyst to find me when I have, like, when I have the buzzers in my hands. But, <laughs> and yeah. kind of put two and two together that I shape that eagle. Michael said that there is a map of all of the holes in the property that are filled with money in his, in his you know, private quarters and sent Amethyst to go get it. And that's when she walks in and finds <laughs> yeah. oh, Doug yeah. Duggerson with the clippers. <laughs> Uh, so I mean, I guess that leaves it up to you all to if this is negatively or positively. I mean, I want it to go positively for you, so I guess negatively <laughs> for Michael Tree. I want, I want to see what what bring <laughs> him down. Put, not to put stage on the spot, but I want. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're going bit. positive. All right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I just kind of go into one of Michael's like dressers. And I find the golden shears and the shaving cream that I used. I'm just like, <laughs> I have them. This is like a shrine? I'm sorry, it seems very like. <laughs> Look, Michael's a weird guy. I don't ask a lot of I don't ask a lot of questions. Uh, you, you start hearing a like a, a, a sing songy voice uh, from behind you. It's like I'm gonna find this map because I'm gonna get lots of money. I don't care about people, but I love animals, so I'm gonna run this compound and make it cool. Wait, um, excuse me, uh, 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 Doug. Yeah, hey, what are you doing here? Am Amethyst. It's, it's what am I to doing see no, you. What, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, uh, you know, uh, Michael uh, yep. told me he forgot um, his favorite scrunchie. And, well, uh, you should you probably, it. yeah, you should probably go get that scrunchie. I just have a razor and I, shaving I, I, cream. I see that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they look quite fancy. Are 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 they yours? Are they? No, these these are Michael's. Michael Michael needs them to shave. Oh, oh. Uh, well, I'm I'm going to see Michael if you'd like. I can I uh -huh. can go take it to him. Uh, no, you know, that's, maybe a that's, trip. No, no. It, it, uh, I should bring these to Michael. I was specifically told to bring these to Michael. You know how Michael is. If he, Michael, says, uh, you know that I do. You know he you just know? made me a director of a new compound. So yeah, that I was know Michael. That was extraordinarily fast. I had to do so much work to get the position that I did, but that's fine. I'm happy for you. You just got here. You're director. Great. You know, it's because of my rapport with animals. Rapport. And, you know, I, 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 please don't mind the the stink of the goats that are, are up to my neck at this point. Uh, it's really, <laughs> that's how much they love me. You know, yeah, they, we I, love I, to come around. Yep. Yeah, yeah they, they, they don't love me as much as they just love watching me and moments that are supposed to be quiet and intimate where a man could think to himself without oh, the, the presence of attention. Yeah, I, yeah, I love that when I, you know, I stare directly at them while I'm uh, hovering you over You look them, them in the eye, you weird, uh, yeah, I mean, you, that's the, that's a tactic. That's the way to do it. I was trying to end the scene there, but now I want it to keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, keep you know. being uh, uncomfortable. Yeah, where uh, mm -hmm. it's it's where you you're at your uh, your your deepest intimate moment, and you you, yeah. you leave that where you're, with the animal. I mean, you're you vulnerable. Know? Yeah, you're exactly, and 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 that is. I to see show them the eat animal. so many phallic items that I just <laughs> can't 
let myself um oh well you know that enjoy hot dogs (laughs) (laughs) they're gone in a second with those blocky teeth uh yeah there's been a lot of near misses but uh you know that's how we play around really really i don't play those games You know, I mean, we can keep going. I I am enjoying this scene so much, but I felt like you. <laughs> I can oh, be awkward my. forever because it's my natural stage. I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, a lot god. of near misses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, Doug Dargerson oh. has has the um the the shaving cream and. The shears the or the buzzers, mm-hmm. is, uh, yeah, the golden ones. Um, so uh, which I've noticed now, you continue to put your fingerprints on now, but that's okay. Uh, I just will wipe them off, and now and now we want to get them into Michael Tree's hand so we can get his fingerprints oh, on right. them. Doug Duggerson mm-hmm. forgot mm-hmm. actually the one forgot he was going to destroy him. <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay. Uh, maybe we can we can we can get uh Michael Tree's hands on them and then and like mm-hmm. we've already called next scene we is we've already called oh, the sure. um who 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 with the wildlife animal wow. yeah, the fishing game yeah. fishing game fishing game, <laughs> fishing game wildlife association yeah, yeah yeah um the WWF yeah, yeah the people that would care yes. about yeah, the t- <laughs> just come out of a helicopter with chairs oh, <laughs> I mean okay. All right, so uh, maybe it's a scene with all of us. We're all trying to angle for different. And, and sorry, did <clears throat> did um, Amethyst get that map as well? Uh, uh, yeah, I think I think he might have uh, waited a little bit after Doug left uh, to get the map, um, mm. so they they would know that they got the map. But yes, okay, beautiful. Yeah. All right, all right. So, which meditation is this after? Oh, it's got to be after the seventh and final meditation of the of the day, where it's like ten p.m. The crickets are chirping out in the Vermont wilderness. <laughs> the koi dogs are braying. Yeah, <laughs> the stone goats are bleeding. <laughs> Trying to get their nose into every. That's right. That's right. Every bloody pocket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> every bag. I just want to say really quickly, like. When we first started this, we weren't sure we wanted to actually have a Michael and Sage are killing him. <laughs> yeah. Sage is not disappointed as Michael. That's all I yeah. gotta say. Yeah, no. so sure. I think I think any one of it a brilliant Michael, but yeah. Um it's also one of the few uh play sets where there is like a named character that's referenced a lot. Uh as Steve uh from Bully Pulpit pointed out. And yeah, so it's been a lot of fun. So for your at-home game. Sorry, back into the narrative. Um, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so, so Sage, do you want to start start the scene uh, since it's a uh, your scene? Okay, so it's uh, it's you know, it's about 10 p.m. at evening. It's after the final seventh meditation of the day. Every like, you know, there is a. Uh, bowls of you know just like raw vegetables being passed around as like as being called the the meal for the evening um and yeah there there are goats just wandering everywhere uh you see some people who are like you know long established members are doing this like meditative practice where they're just staring at a goat and then just like imitating all of the sounds and like movements that it's making <laughs> Michael's just going around and like trying to schmooze with everyone, and be like, "Yeah, so like, how was your first day?" <laughs> Michael, these vegetables are absolutely delicious, and you know, I think uh, we we should think about expanding the menu for the the, the following compounds that we're going to be working on together, and you know, uh, may, maybe adding uh, uh, some uh, a snow peas, some snap peas. Um, yeah. I'm very partial to watercress. Just maybe a cake of watercress. That'd be amazing. Watercress Ooh. cake, water cake. Wow, you're like that's why I wanted you here because you've got like a vision, <laughs> and I well, really respect that about yeah. you. Uh, it's it's from all this wonderful meditation with the goats. Uh, I, I especially yeah. enjoy the bathroom meditation. I, I love how all the bathrooms See, you, really get have that you get so it. You get to stare right in the eye. <laughs> And also defend your privates at any given moment in time. But you know, it's great. I love it. I love it. 
Petra is just shaking her head like, and she also looks like she's wizened 10 years. She hasn't been able to wash her face with any clean water. Uh, they're digging holes. No one's actually trying to bring in water, by the way. So uh, There's yeah, no there's water dirty, to be found. There's It's gray water, which is fine, but it's not great for like imbibing. So just like, is yeah, her city, her city skin is like, <laughs> and she's just like, what are they? Uh, uh, um, uh, and then she's like, oh, she like, uh, looks over and sees would uh yeah you would be there doug right mm -hmm. you would be meditating yeah. too and she and so she's just like uh very obvious like do you have the z -z 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 -z? i've got the z -z 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 louder I got, I got the zoom <laughs> zoom and the boom boom but more than that oh, i've well, got to help talk about the second one later oh <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, i'm not sure if that word did that laugh but you got it anyway <laughs> But also, can you believe that Amethyst is already a director? This is bullcrap. <laughs> I'm so I thought you were here to mug the place. Are you mad about someone? I was here to mug club? the place. I was here to mug the place. But you know, I got the polluter, I got the polluter gig after after goat shepherding, then goat counseling, and then <laughs> and then goat group counseling and then finally I got polluter and this this they just come in and they're automatically a director it's just it's not fair Doug, Doug, Doug in our in our new at our new place which will be this place in a day you you will be director you have forged your own path that is way better than just applying and getting it wasn't it like well, well, well then who's gonna be the Michael are you gonna be the Michael uh, we haven't talked about it, but since you brought it up, that seems like a great idea. Well, I, I thought I was going to be the Michael. I mean, I've got the You thought you were going to be the Michael? I thought I was going to be the Michael. <laughs> Give me the shears. What are you going to do with the shears? I'm going to get the fingerprints, Doug. Oh, that totally we need. totally forgot about that. My All right. God. This is why I'm we the Michael. No, this is why we should be Cole Michaels. We're a good team. Cole Michaels? <laughs> Cole Michaels. I got the shears. You remember to take the fingerprints off the shears. Together, one Michael. Two Michaels. Why don't I just why don't I just call why don't I just call Fish Game Wildlife, whatever it's called, Fish Game Wildlife, Cryptid Floor and Fauna, and uh, just get both of you arrested. How about that? How about that? And she's just like pulling out her phone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't call the WWE on me. Okay. Here, look. <laughs> take, take the shears and do the fingerprint thing. And then can I at least be executive director with a pat with a Provided pathway to co Michael ship. <laughs> uh, Petra's love of business pentameter and or whatever legally is uh, poetry. Yes, that is the most beautiful. And just she sort of like ghosts a hand next to your face. Beautiful thing I've ever heard. And then the hand comes out into a flat palm and she's like, the shears. Right, right. Go. Here, here. Go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> uh, so are you two, you two still talking, right? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when the goats do their poetry reading, uh, that's when we all bleat in response. Oh, and we could call it the bleeding heart meditation. Oh, yes. Yes. That is perfect. That I love that. <laughs> oh, oh, welcome, new member. You'll have to forgive me. I can't remember your name. Oh, it's uh, it's Petra, Petra Z. Thank Petra. you so much. I, I feel um, uh, opened to goatdom now that I've been through all seven of the meditations, and I, I would just love to ah. shake your hand. Is that okay? Of course, yes. I would be honored to make human contact with you. Oh, uh, Petra's like, oh, well, especially when you say it like that. <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> and, and he just offers this like limp hand <laughs> yeah yeah and uh she's gonna preacher palm you so take one hand over the top and just mm -hmm. oh and just i'm sorry can i'm i am uh clearly from france she's not uh <laughs> uh and we do a little kiss is that okay uh oh i love nerding new customs i do this with the goats i didn't know you could do it with people <laughs> 
Okay, and while she's trying to distract Michael with these this cheek kiss, mm -hmm. she's under palming the buzz or the shears in his hand and like like getting a full fingerprint set on it mm -hmm. while while having a gloved hand herself. I'm on to you, of Doug. course. And on uh, it. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, in a seventh time for the seventh meditation. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> this new cropping uh, of recruits has been the best. Oh, yes. really? <laughs> well, you know, Petra, since I'm a, a new and upcoming director, I, I too would like to shake your hand if uh, if that'd be really possible. So, And then I just lunge forward. Oh, my God. <laughs> so much initiative, this one. I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, just rubbing in, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that, that's when everyone hears the sound of a helicopter. Oh. <laughs> and, and and leather, leather, I don't know, those like metalish ropes <laughs> hitting the ground and like the sounds of boots <laughs> on the ground. So apparently people really love goats in Vermont. Actually, that is true. Uh, and so <laughs> they are there in two shakes of a, not a goat's tail, uh, and like, so the wild game, fishing and gaming people, sorry, I don't, they bust in, but they're Rock dressed in like, comes down from the yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah but instead of tactical gear, they're in fishing gear, obviously, and shorts yeah. and like yeah. hiking boots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they use that to open the door. <laughs> and like, and like one, one's ready to throw a tackle box in someone's face. And uh, it, it's a tactical box. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, everybody. That was it. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, and they're, they're like, uh, 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 Michael, Michael Tree, AKA, and they, they say your uh, other name or whatever it was before from your criminal life that was predating your Brian Kibler. <laughs> Brian Kibler. <laughs> God. Yeah. Uh, you're under arrest <laughs> for uh, shaving our national bird. And, That's uh, right. You're what? going to get my go. <laughs> But Doug, think of all we've built together. Yeah. I just got one quick. I just got one question. Michael, where's my what? promotion? <laughs> Um, excuse me, I, I believe I'm the director now. If uh, if anything, it's going to be uh, acting director. Uh, this is going to continue forward. And oh, uh, sad to see you go, Michael, but someone's got to fill in these shoes. Hey, Amethyst, catch him. I throw the shaving cream. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, and he helped, and he helped. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even properly bird moisturized shaving cream. No. <laughs> who would shaving cream of beautiful eagle? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like man. A thousand yards. <laughs> yeah. They, well, yeah, they definitely I'm throw the cuffs on me and drag, start dragging me away. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to say that's a, an old negative for Michael Tree. <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> I, I think we did a good job of making that come. To, so now with our final card that we all have, if you all don't mind flipping it, can we get that number? So normally we would do one more round, but again, we basically ended our narrative right. and also the show is only so long, unfortunately. Um, right. So I have a blue one. Uh, I do not have another card. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, we did that scene with you. Where are you? Ooh, Up there. Like mine. Your scene ended positively, if I recall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, having some... No worries. I could draw it. <laughs> okay, good. Because <laughs> my internet. Uh oh. Please last. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Did Woo! you say please laugh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought All my right. internet wasn't going to work anymore. And I was like, what's happening? Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. I got um, my card. Ivan, did you get your other card? Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Had this. So you have you. a blue one as well. Mm. And then Sage, you have red two. a... Jeez. No, you're adding all of them. So you actually have a red 10. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. All right. And then Noir, you have a blue five. All right. So... 
Now I'm I pulling out six. I believe I have a blue the... six. Sorry, you. Uh, you have two blue threes, but then you subtract the the other number. So oh, uh, the, never mind. Right. My bad. You're right. No, no, it's okay. Again, this is color math. It's a it's a new thing. Ah! Um, so, now, so now I'm adding our last deck of cards, the aftermath, and this is when I pull out. I pull out everyone's. Uh, it's it's going to describe a little bit of your situation, but what you can do is then translate it for what it means for you. So Ivan, we will have you go first. Sure. So you and I are both blue ones. So I'm pulling this out. Oh, cool. It's going to take him a second. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Uh, and then I'll go. <laughs> then Noir will go. And then <laughs> Sage. All right. All right, cool. So terrible. I have a strong feeling that I'm dead right now, mm -hmm. uh, which feels like the right thing to be. My ugly failure has no doubt dragged people I care about into the contemptible lake, and they are probably dead too. I should be ashamed, but I bet I'm not because I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, so what does that mean? Um. Yeah, uh, it's like how uh, I, I think I think uh, uh, I I somehow uh, slipped my cuffs, like I I, I just took off in a panic, cuffed like into the wood. Um, wait, what's the name of that really scary goat that sort of Thaddeus? Thaddeus. Um, yeah, I, I, I went running into the woods and and started dreaming of a way that I would come back to the compound after everybody left. And become the acting director as I rightfully should be. Uh, when I hear the heavy stomping of Thaddeus, uh, who came closest to those near misses that one time, and, and I dared not look into his <laughs> eyes any longer. But no, it's Thaddeus, and <laughs> a shrill, broken eagle cry rings across the, <laughs> the forest. That's it. Great. Okay. Oh, um, I love it. I actually had the same uh, card as you, so uh, but I will have a different ending. Um, so after uh, this new takeover, if you will, <clears throat> or after you know, uh, Doug and Petra find the body of uh, uh, sorry, or, is he at least or what is left of Amethyst. Excuse me. Oh yes. no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. And um, uh, we get to the uh, we get to the the. Um, the part of where we're going to dig up all the trust fund Congress kids money, but Petra, uh, unfortunately, uh, slips at some point and falls herself, fall, finds herself in, trapped in a very big hole. Uh, whether or not Doug heard her screaming, it's very unclear, but it's starting to get cold and she's very hungry. And that's where her, <laughs> see, her, her part of the story ends. So... All right, Noir, uh, with your red five or your blue five. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where's my world spinning? There you go. All uh, right, my blue five. Appalling. I don't want to seem bitter. Uh, I don't want to seem bitter. Now I know what it's like to be utterly crushed, casually brought low, forced to eat my own words, and stand mute and powerless before my enemies. They gloat, and I am helpless, so that's nice. Um, yeah, so Doug... Doug and Petra, they went on a walk, and Petra slipped and fell into a trap uh, and screamed, <laughs> and Doug didn't hear it. Uh, it became the new Michael, uh, who it was great <laughs> news. Uh, and he ran the place. He found the, the money. He finally got what he came here for. And then one day there was a knock on the door. And he opened it, and there was Thaddeus, <laughs> who looked him in his eyes. He took off a goat mask. I knew it! I knew it! Straight I, up. I knew it. <laughs> what a twist. And, and all we see is the door close, and we hear a scream. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. What happens to dear Michael Tree slash Brian Gibbler slash contestant number three in season four? 
with uh, your red tent. Uh, tolerable. Wow. I've emerged from this. Uh, I've emerged from this remarkable mess, smelling like a rose. To be honest, I feel like I'm a little better off. Actually, it's not like I learned anything, but I also probably didn't get caught. <laughs> you know what? That sounds oh, oh, oh. like our, that sounds like our judicial system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Michael Michael Tree was white, right? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, one hundred percent was three months in jail. Uh, so, yeah, 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 exactly. So basically, they found like they had him in. They had him in jail for a while, um, but eventually the case was dismissed because it was all just so such circumstantial evidence. And look at this upstanding entrepreneurial who's a member of this community. Wow. God, I hate it. Time to and so, <laughs> so are, you, are you just gonna move across the country and go to Oregon to start again? Uh, yeah. So he he moved. This time out. is he, cheap. <laughs> So he moves to Alaska and he starts up a new cult. Uh, and this one is based around uh, mining crystals from the <laughs> Alaskan mountains. Oh, wow. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh, man. Yep. I am so proud of all of you. <laughs> so disgusting terrible tale that we have woven together tonight um thank you <laughs> oh god i'm gonna be like have cold sweats for a couple nights <laughs> of this. um <laughs> really, I'm really the cold so i'm sorry <laughs> no no oh again i i think this group would i knew this group would do it do it do it justice and rainbow mountain will never look the same again to me so uh <laughs> thank you so much um I'm going to let you all do an outro, but first I wanted to thank everyone in chat for listening. I'd like to thank Fawn of Fawn and Games for being our beautiful, wonderful producer. Uh, thank you to Steve Segetti uh, at Bully Pulpit Games for keeping us uh, going in uh, chat as well. And uh, please check us out in a month when we have a new game and a new set of people playing. Let's go in reverse order. Ivan, tell us where people can find you on the internet and anything uh, you're up to that you want to share. Sure. Uh, what's it called? <clears throat> uh, the, the Instagram and Twitter is on at Salazar, and that's S A L A C Z A R. I just wanted a one word <laughs> handle. Um, uh, and uh, uh, I'm the marketing director for Karancha USA, a manga publisher. Honestly, just read manga, be kind. That's that's it. That's, that's all I want to promote. I think that's great. Um, Sage. What's up? I'm Sage. I'm a professional storyteller and D&D &D and, and, and Magic the Gathering uh, content creator, streamer, and everything about that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you can find me pretty much every week streaming over on the Venture Maidens where I both run and play D&D &D games. And also, um, yeah, catch me on Twitter where I talk about all things uh, gaming and social justice related. Yay! And Noir, where can people find you? Yeah, hello, everybody. First off, thank you very much for having me. Uh, you can find me all over the internet as the Noir Enigma. That's Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Uh, I am the one of the latest streamers endorsed by Black Craft Cult. I just got my discount code, so if you want to buy some dev devilishly awesome gear, go ahead and use code Noir. Uh, I have a couple of projects coming up. One is called Into the Sunset, where we have... Uh, players play characters from level 3 to level 20, and then we sunset their characters. Uh, I have an outstanding They're cast. Cool. Uh, we're going to have Brennan Lee Mulligan, Persephiroth, Brito, KP, and Sam DeLev. Uh, also running a Urban Shadows 2 game. Uh, I have a, a just... just there's a lot of stuff that I'm running, and Rivals of Waterdeep is coming back, and I am the producer for that. So be on the lookout uh, later January for that. There's some other stuff, but just check out my Twitter. Um, uh, and last thing, because I need to get better uh, at this, is I have a GoFundMe because I'm moving to Canada and it's terribly expensive. So if you can donate a dollar, uh, I would greatly appreciate it because I need to get out of here. <laughs> Real. Okay. Donate a loony or toony, I believe is the. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> now I've got the tiny toon steam in my head. That's where yeah, my brain yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's actually where I your TV. All right. Uh, <laughs> that's me. Awesome. Um, and I have been Jen Vaughn, your host, uh, your chaos coordinator, your fias your professional fiasco. Thank you. 
um, taxable. Uh, we will see you here on Friday, February 4th. We're getting a new playset with a new set of characters. You can find me online at the Genya, J E N Y A. And my pin tweet is my new graphic novel that you can pre order called Took. Uh, it is a very creepy tale. Um, there's witches, there's ghosts, there's a new skeleton I got to draw. I won't tell you what kind, but yeah, it's a middle-aged horror book um, written by uh, uh, Mary uh, Mary Downing Hahn, uh, and uh, it's got uh, Steve Peterson helped adapt it, and then Amazing Colors by Hank Jones. So please pre-order from Clarion Books. If you want to hear me more, possibly with some poop jokes, I know there's a lot, actually. The producers <laughs> yell at me. Uh, you can listen to my family-friendly D&D podcast, D20 Dames, uh, or uh, my Ryutama podcast, if you're into the Studio Ghibli-style Miyazaki S games, uh, Poison of Prophecy over at The Codex. Crodex, oh, sorry, The Crodex on uh, Twitter. Uh, and thank you, everyone, again, in chat for being here. And also a special shout-out to the people that watch these on YouTube, where this will be afterwards. Wolfman Dano 23 and Gas Guardian, thanks for commenting on every single one. I appreciate you watching. And yeah, you're right. It's like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You never know where it's going to go 10 minutes later down the line. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> it was me, Dio. No. <laughs> um, yeah, and so until next time, uh, burn it all down, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>